I must prefer ciders, beer, or spirits. Beer. <laughs> beer. Beer. You think so? It's over. For Zangoma? Ah, dude, it's over. I thought they're like the new celebrities, the no, new mark influencers. My, mark my words, it's over. Why do you say that? Why am I? So no muto so faga yo o party so valo. O gutin jo almakwa wangu muto kutik. Hey, machita ina sanya hamba maji. Yabo no yata tazela. Stability of such things. Pray for your kids. Pray for your kids, but don't give your kids herbs. You are attracting these spirits, eh? So. What are you saying? For them not to get killed in the process. For them not to get arrested. Yeah, but like, we back at this angle. We back at this angle in Teles is a good figure, You understand? So if buyers are MP, if buyers are bigger than MP, we are not going to be able to This thing must not turn back into them. About reading, about reading. But it's their job. Now, now I'm doing my job. There are dreams that come because of your daily life and your daily activities. There are dreams that come because of your communication from your ancestors. There are dreams that come because of your spiritual line. You how, do you, how do you know which one is which? Dr. Maweni, I'm not a doctor, Ms. Angoma. Can she be there with, with Dr. Matthew because they're all doctors? <laughs> Same WhatsApp group. Yeah, they're, they're all doctors, no? No. <laughs> Oh man, Tabang, Tabang, you're gonna get us in trouble. Oh, Tabang, man. That's just, you're shy, so I went to Tabang. Yo! So just to give context, we're about to start. Tabang is doing the countdown. Hey. Our episode 500, what, what, podcast and chill. Coco Maweni. Yo, yo, yo. So shy, so I went to Tabang. Hey, I'm I'm around you. No, it's fine. On behalf of Tabang, I apologize. So sorry about that. I was like, yeah? Yo, imagine. Koko Skotini. Yeah. Thank you so much for coming through, man. Yo, a lot of chillers have been wanting you to come, bro. Yeah. Really? Yeah, man. Chillers love you, bro. I love them too. Huh? I love them for loving me. Let's toast to that. You know, I always get shocked when I find out that someone must drink. I thought, like, you guys can't drink or anything like that. I started drinking last year, mm. uh, simply because I grew up from a very strict family. So yeah, yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't drink. So man, I've got freedom. Mm. I can drink. And you guys drink like fish, as in sangomas, ne? Yeah, yo, but she ain't good to love and love. Oh, Casey Black, Casey Yani, man, you gone. Yeah, you know, yeah, sangomas drink a lot. Yeah, a Why? lot. Why is that the case? We like lying and saying no. It's because uko kwa kumkulwa ko was a Drunkard, and now you're doing it because uh, that's a lie. Uh, that's a lie. You are you are, you are just like that. Mm. Everything we do at Sangomas Mas, we always say, no, yeah, I'm having a second husband because of. Mm, mm, mm. What do Sangomas prefer, ciders, beer, or spirits? Beer. <laughs> beer. 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 No, ma, no, while they're busy dancing a stage, I would say, and they'll speak with that deep voice as if. They're into trance while well, they're not, mm. and they'll say, "Oh, I'm from beer." Oh, that's fake. Sometimes those voices. You know what? To be honest with you, um, ancestors do come out from us, ne? But when you start, you cannot say you are already dancing and you're already in trance. That's not being in trance. That's not your ancestors. That's us teaching you. We say, okay, when you want your ancestors to come to you, this is how you do it. You know, this is how you talk to. This is how you summon them. You're not in trance already, no. So it's it's fake, then yeah. It's but the real deal. We, we, we're going to get into all of that. Hinda, what a minute, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. Please welcome our guest today. She's a reality star, an entrepreneur. She's now a DJ. She's got the fastest growing podcast in the country, Pendu. Yeah. She's also a wife. Please welcome Patricia Dumi Mwetzeni, a.k.a. Gogos Koteni. Hello. Oh, you're so gorgeous, even better in Am person, I? bro. Really? You got to be the hottest Gogo in town, eh? <laughs> no. <laughs> you got to. There's so many hot Gogos lately. Yeah. 
Right, but thank you very much. I really I remember appreciate it. Uh, uh, first time I was introduced to you because, mm-hmm. uh, like, you know, I love podcasts, whatever. Yeah. So I'm always trying to check out like who's got a new podcast, what's going on. So I stumbled upon yours, mm-hmm. and first thing I was like, wow. Okay, cool. She's pretty. Wow. Great. Oh, Great content. You. Dope, dope, dope. But I'd never heard of you. Didn't know anything about you until then. So before your podcast, for those, you know, that might not know, who's Gogo Koteni? Like before the podcast, what were you doing? Like, what are you all about? Before everything, let me take you back. Yeah. Eh? Um, I became a Sangoma. It's been 10 years now. And people didn't know. Um, I was hustling. I went to Muvango for auditions. Muvango? Yeah. I went to Generations. I went to I went mm-hmm. everywhere. I wanted to be an an, an actress, you know. Mm-hmm. And uh, I started becoming now an extra for Muvango. I was an extra for Muvango um, for like two months. And then I got the biggest deal, which was the Lotto advert. I became the lead there. And then people didn't know that I'm a Sangoma. And then I went home just to visit for holidays. And when I got there, that's when my ancestors said, you know what? You're not going back to the city. Then initiates came in day, every day, every day. That's why today I have so many of them. Mm. And then I think my ancestors said, okay, we can see you want to be an actress, but we'll put you out there in our own way. Ah. You know, not in the way that you not want. in the way that you want. You're not gonna get there. This is you. You can't. It's not easy for you to get there. So Tina, so so Tatin, so bigger the way we want. Mm. And yeah, that's how I started. I think one video where I was talking about Gorovela. Yes. And it went viral, and I didn't know. And I started social media 2018, mm. and boom, I'm trending. And I didn't even know what Twitter is. I didn't know what Instagram is. And then, yeah, I started creating all these pages after that. I started creating them 2019. And when does the Moja Love show come into play? It came into place after I met my husband, okay. which was Monday Shangi. Mm. 20... Shout out to Monday, man. He's here. Hey, they're twins. He's... Hey, oh, my oh, that's this husband. Husband, yay. Yeah. Shout out to Monday. My husband, hubby. <laughs> He's handsome. Uh, yes, 2021. Mm. Moja Love came. And yeah, and when they came... I was like, hmm, now I'm going to TV again. What I've always wanted. Yes. Yeah. And I was like, okay, cool. I'm doing Measure Love. And. What was the show about? Me having two husbands. Oh, is that, is that what the show is about? Okay, okay. And um, I don't have two husbands. I have one husband. Yeah. But that's what the show was about. Oh, so the show was just like, you were acting like you have two husbands. No. So mm-hmm. I'm lost now. Yeah. Yeah, stay lost. <laughs> Wait, oh, so you were looking. You were in the search for a second husband. No. Mm. Yeah. No, the show was about me having a second husband. Okay, imagine I'm Moja Love, ne? Yeah. I come to you. What did they pitch? They pitch that we want to shoot your life. Okay. Take us through who's Kokos Koteni. Yeah. Take us through your daily life. Take yeah. us to, through you being a Sangoma and you. Like a reality show. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And that came. During the show. During the show. During the shoot. So it was a plot that you were not aware of. It it just came out from them shooting. I, I was aware of that. Mm. You know. Um, I think it's one of the biggest mistakes I've ever made in my life. Uh, do I regret it? Yes. Do I feel like I shouldn't have done that? Yes. But what did you do exactly? I'm still lost. Me looking for a second husband. So you knew that this is the plot and you still said, okay, cool, we'll do the plot. But you regret doing it now. Yeah. Basically, in a nutshell. Oh, okay. So why do they have to come up with the plot if it's about your life? They did not come about with that. No, they didn't. I did. Okay. Yeah, they didn't. Mojolov didn't say, hi, we want you to do this. They didn't force me to do anything. I did. Now, it's something that is not there. I'm comfortable with one husband. But uh, would I want to have a second husband? So it was for entertainment? Yeah. Oh, so you were like, ah, let me spice things up. Yes. Okay. So at no point you, you were seeing two guys, like, really? No. Oh. I've never cheated on my husband. Never. But why do that, though, man? I mean, your life is already entertaining. That's, that's the thing. You know, when you think it's not, while it is... So thinking you need to spice it up, and then you're adding more six gun, and then the salt is now bubbing. And and you have to tell Monday that, hey, listen, yeah. this is what I'm thinking of doing. What did he say? 
he was not happy. Mm. He was not happy. We'd constantly fight about it. I mean, what man would be happy? Yeah, he was not happy. Um, at some point he agreed, but somewhere he was like, you know what? Fuck you. Mm. And I was like, but you agreed. Now we are fighting about that now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You said yes, blah, blah, blah. So it was not something that, oh, that we both liked at the end of the day. How is that affecting him? Like, I mean, in society, I can imagine. I, people would laugh at a guy. It was a serious thing to such an extent that people from, you know, Ian Kabim was from Natal. He's Zulu. He's from KZN, but he was born in Harrowsmith, but his family, the Shangis, they are from KZN. Mm. So they would call him and say, Endota, let's go, let's shoot this, this guy, you know, you? the second guy. People that we don't even know, random people, scary guys, they'd call him and say, Endota, give us, give us a call if this guy is bothering you. Yeah. So people took it very personal. People really didn't like it. Some even unfollowed me for that. So from it being a plot and a concept, it morphed into there was an actual guy now. Now, you know, it wow. became a real thing. Wow. Cool, now cool. he's playing along and stuff. Yeah. He was acting. Yeah. <laughs> no way. <laughs> it was nice for me to see my husband being that angry because we've never thought about cheating in my yeah, house. Yeah, 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 yeah. So it was it was very nice. It was, you know. I mean, I see the Nkabis and your husband. What about your ancestors? Yeah. How do they perceive this? Do they even know the difference between you acting? Because you you've intertwined this fictional thing in your real life. So I'm assuming... Yeah, they actually, everything I do, I'm very open to my ancestors. Very much open, whether I do right or wrong. Mm -hmm. If I'm about to take a very bad decision, I involve them. Uh, I don't take my ancestors as the scary people, you know. They are my friends. Everything I do, I talk to them. They're not hard. Ancestors are not too... We are the ones that are trying to make people be scared of this thing. But no, they're not. So I spoke to them before I wanted to. And there were signs after that, no, we don't like this. We don't want it. That's why I didn't do season two. Bro, you know, I'm so glad you mentioned that because um, I believe in, in ancestors and God as well, right? That's nice. But I'm scared of them because I know like everything that you have is because of them. You know, mm -hmm. they, they bless you, all these blessings or whatever. And I'm scared like I might piss them off or do something wrong and then they're just going to take everything away. That's the thing. Th that's the thing. Um, Yo, Marco, can I, can I charge my laptop, please? Sorry, sorry. Oh, it's fine. Yeah. That's the thing, Mike. You know, um... Ancestors are not supposed to be people we are scared of, you know? Why should we be scared of them? It's the same thing as why should we be scared of your parents? You must just respect them. Hmm. You don't have to be scared of your ancestors. As ancestors are human like us, but they are now in a spirit form. Hmm. You can just communicate with them about anything and everything. And what kind of ancestors... You know, I'm, I'm, I want to understand this thing. Why do ancestors so quick to do something that is bad? Hmm. They're so quick to take everything away from you. Mm. They're so quick to punish you. They're so quick. Hey, they're going to take your, your money. They're going to take your, your if you go yes, crazy. Yes, it's yes. because you didn't listen to us. Why? Why are ancestors associated with everything that is bad? Huh. But when you do good, yeah, Madlozok, we clap once, fine. But when you do bad, yeah, si chali, la why? Ah. Why? Why? Then, then it's not ancestors. Do you, do you feel like that as well sometimes, so? I know, I just feel as if people are about Wasaba Maglozi in that way, Wasaba, the wrath of a Maglozi when you've angered them. Just like we fear God, not because we fear talking or engaging in him, but we fear pissing him off because the wrath of God is in Tomavitism to him because of God or our ancestors. So that's how I feel. It's not really a fear of, hey, hey, you're not cool, but, but that's what, that's what, um, most Sangomas do, you know, you get into an accident. It has to be something that Amalos are not happy with. Uh, if not that, it's witchcraft. It can never be a mistake. You it can can't never just go, be life. No. Where is life in that? Mm -hmm. You know? And mm -hmm. there are certain personal choices that we did in life. And now we are living that life because of our personal choices. But no, we involve ancestors in everything. I get you. So if you are going to get in the car, drink and drink and drive and get into a car accident, mm. you can't blame ancestors. You can't. No. Why? It's just being irresponsible. Yeah, yeah, if I was not drinking, Saul was drinking, but Saul bumped into me, then it cannot be ancestors. Mm. It cannot be. Mm. And when you go to, which Sangoma have you ever went to and they said, oh, everything is fine. Yeah. <laughs> I think eh. I'm the only one. Eh, eh. And to such an extent that, Mac, you'd see that person being pissed off because they want something. 
Mm-hmm. If you get into my dumba and I said, and I said to you, no, you're cool. Nothing's wrong with you. Hey, you don't like that. You want me to tell you, hey, hey, Spanban is bewitching you. Yeah, Spanban is jealous. That's what people want. And then the podcast, why start the podcast? What was the reason behind that? Wow. When I started the podcast, I usually go live a lot on okay. my Facebook page. And my partner is a big fan of Podcast and Chill. Oh, wow. Yeah, a big but it's a big fan. But chiller. You can't watch it in front of her. She gets jealous. No, I get jealous. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you why. So let me tell you why. Everything you've put him through. (laughs) (laughs) Let me tell you what happened. So Manda said, you know what? Take these videos of yours to YouTube. I said, ah, no, man. YouTube, you know? Um, He doesn't watch TV. He watches podcasts every day of his life. So I wanted to, but that was in 2020. Then we stopped. We looked for people. We We were still in Harrismith at that time. And then 2021... He said, dude, I said, do this. I'm like, I man, young Bambezel. 2022. Last year, I'm like, you know what? I'm doing this. Mm. And then I stopped again. I didn't do anything. This year, we moved to Joburg. We got to Joburg in Feb. Mm. Yes, February. And then I'm like, I'm doing it. Now he's like, nah, don't. <laughs> it's fine. Don't do it. And then I started shooting in April. And first episode, second episode, I go downstairs, he's watching podcast and chill. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'm like, hey, Banna, what are you doing? I've got a podcast now. You need to support me. Yeah, yeah. Uh, watch all my in. three I'll shows. watch it later. I'm like, oh, wow. <laughs> you haven't watched my show. And I started last month, but you're busy with podcast and chill. Yeah. So when I started my podcast, I wanted to talk more about spirituality only. And I realized that... But that's not what I want. I want to engage with people. I want to know people. That's why I don't only want to interview people who are well known. Okay, I, I get just you. Go random. Anybody. Story. A yeah, it's, it's a venting podcast for a reason. We just vent. We just talk. I get to know you. You get to know me. We get to engage. So it's no longer what I planned. Before when I started, I wanted to be a spiritual talk. Got where you. Sangoma's talk. But when I look at this thing, as Sangoma, see a pale is cut up. So I'm like, ah. you think so? It's over. For Zangoma. Ah, dude, it's over. I thought they're like the new celebrities, the no, new mark influencers. My, mark my words, it's over. Why do you say that? Why am I saying that? Back in the days, we used to have Abafundis. You know, they go to different provinces. There's te- there's a big tent somewhere and there's Mfundis who who and we all go there. Even if you're not a Christian, even if you are you are from ZCC, but we would, we used to go there. You know, yeah. we see all these miracles. Then they left. And then Bushiri came, Bom Boro came, mm. Bo Pastor Zondo came. They did something that was not new. It was already there. You know, their time, boom, mm. finished. Now, it's Katsa Zangome. A lot has happened, you know, Zangome. And their time is up. Because why now even people who don't have a calling end up being Sangomas? Mm. It's no longer a spiritual thing. Being a Sangoma, it's not a spiritual thing, but it's a religion. Huh. And people mix it for spirituality. Spirit, mm. Spirituality is who you are connecting with the spirits that you have. That's why even when you are a Christian, when you are a church, you can connect with the spirit that is there because everyone spiritually has something. Mm. Now, a religion, it's a decision of what to do with the spirituality that you have. Mm. Spirituality, it's not upsangom, it's not being a Christian, it's not, it's who you are. But now when you take what you have and point it to a Christian way, that's you. Mm. If you take it and point it into Ubungoma, which is the Sangoma way, that's you. But when you tell people that being a Sangoma is a religion, they don't take that serious. They're like, no, I'm talking crap. And and, and at what point did you think then that it was booming? I need to say it's coming to the end. When yeah. was it booming? It was booming back in 2018, 19, 20, 21. 2022, mm. down the drain. Mm. Go to TikTok. <laughs> Sangomas are live there telling you that you have a terrible headache. Who doesn't have a headache? Mm. Mm. You know, Sangomas are telling you that uh, you are stressed because of one, two, three. Who doesn't have stress? Mm. Stop telling us things that we know. Mm. Mm. Predict. Who predicted COVID? No one. Thank you. But there's so many. We so many. We go live every day. And what do you think about celebrities becoming Sangomas? Do you think maybe that's like... A- They're depressed. Hold depression. on. Yeah. Are they depressed because they are Sangomas or they became Sangomas because they were depressed and maybe got misdiagnosed and became Sangomas? They were misdiagnosed and became Sangomas. Depression. Oh. Remember, um, 
let me tell you this so anybody can become a sangoma you you can come to me i can trust you so you now even if you don't have a calling <coughs> yes yeah do you think everyone that is a sangoma is a calling <laughs> <laughs> nah, I'm very doubtful of that. Nah. Too many of in them. the game right now. How many people are real sangomas? How many are fake? Percentage wise, thirty percent of them are sangomas. Real? Yeah, seventy gone. Jesus, they are not. How do you tell if someone is not a sangoma? Let me tell you something. Uh, there's a difference between someone. Remember, being a sangoma, it's a calling, right? Mm. So. When you start, like you said, you believe in ancestors. When you start talking to your ancestors about your life or anything, we call Country. it upasa, right? Yes. They're gonna come back and answer you. Yes. And how do ancestors answer you? They answer you through your dreams. Now you start dreaming, and you're gonna tell us you come to a sangoma. The sangoma says your dreams. It's an indication that you have a calling. No, your ancestors were answering you because you were talking to them. Mm. It's not a calling. Mm-hmm. A calling is something you were born with. Mm. You were born with. Even your parents will tell you from a young age that you used to do this and this and that. Yes, you could predict yes. things. Yeah, you could predict yes. things. Yes. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. Now you dream of a certain cloth, a certain something, and then you come to me and I'm like, uh uh-uh, uh, Saul, you have a calling. No, your ancestors were telling you that no, we listened to you. Ubon in Dwangim Club, no, Guzo Kanya, Ubon. Now you see water, okay, this is a purification. Go and ask Kotani to cleanse you. Where now you get to Scotten, Scotten says, No, water means calling. Mm. Mm, you need to come and twice. No ways. No ways. So what, so what is it about saying I'm a Sangoma? Is it because it's a statement, it's fashionable, it's trendy? It's what fashionable. What attracts people? Yeah. Um, what attracts people, it's the beauty that comes with it now. People, when they see Ubungoma, now the first thing that you do, you dress up. Mm. You do your nails, you become the Sangoma. Because p- remember the mindset about when they look at a Sangoma, they see this dirty person. Mm, mm. The first thing that all of them, manji, they come back looking all nice. They do these nice dresses. They make Ubungoma fashionable. So that's what they think. It's the end thing. Mm. You see now it's 2023? Mm. 2024? Mark my words. This is going to be a norm. Mm. It's going to be a norm. Like DJ. Like d- <laughs> <laughs> some 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 will leave you to be DJs. Yeah, exactly. Finish <laughs> 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 The fake sangomas, right? God. I'm, I mean, in my head, as a normal, ordinary person, I'm thinking there's some form of punishment for being a sangoma when you're not. Repercussions. Or repercussions. What repercussions? Is someone facing if they are a fake sangoma? Now that's where we enter. Okay? That's I like that you going you going deep. Remember what I said earlier. I said not everything that bad bad that is happening in your life it's because of amatlos. Yes, that shows good ubungoma. It's a religion that you choose. That even if you do bad, you'll not get punished because your ancestors are not part of it. Wait, I'm confused. Yes, I want to confuse you, mm. but I want you to understand. Mm. Listen. Now, Ubungoma, it is a religion that someone started, someone like me and you. Mm. No ancestor came to you and say, uh, this is how you need to do things. And everybody did. If this is how we need to do things, why are Sutus, Bedi, Tuanas, Shanganese and everybody doing the same thing? Mm. Your tradition mm. as a Tonga or as a Shangani, mm. it's different from me as a Sutu person. But we are now at Skotani's place doing something that is similar. Mm. How does that involve your ancestors? Do you slaughter a goat mm. at home? Mm. Sutu to slaughter, we don't slaughter a goat, we, sl- we slaughter a sheep. But now when I go to Tuasa, I slaughter a, a goat. Why? Where do, where do my ancestors enter there? Where do my ancestors enter? But when, when did it start, Ungoma? When isn't it from like? It's 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 been it, it started long time ago. But the person who started Ubungoma, it's someone that is like me and you. You see now how how I'm out there. If I could say now, people must use a cat to twasa, and in ten years to come, there are people who are going to follow that trend. Okay. I came with it. Yes, 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 yes. You understand? Yes. So no one, no ancestor came to you and say, you must use a goat, but you are closer. You don't use a goat, you use cows. So it doesn't involve Amadlozi. So the being able to connect with Amadlozi, if it was man-made, then what does the gift come into it? Because Thank you. 
if I can choose to be a Sangoma without the natural gift, I'll be a horrible Sangoma. Yeah. Let me get you into that. We've got herbs. We've got herbs that can make you dream. We've got herbs that can make you feel like, um, let me show you something. There's, okay, I'm going to get, what, what is that? There's Sangomas who use a mirror. Yeah. Right? And they're going to say, look at the mirror. You, go, you come to them and say, someone stole my phone. And I was sitting with Saul and whoever and Tabang, we all, we're in the same table. Then boom, my phone is not there. When you come to a Sangoma, you already have a clue who it might be, but you're not sure. Yes. I give you a mirror. And then I say, drink something. What you're drinking is what you will see. I, I, I make you see that with the help that I give you. Oh. Now, when you look at the mirror, you see Solomon. I knew it's Saul. Mm, got you. It's what you see. Isn't that a drug? Isn't that like hallucinating? It, and... it is. We do that. And also what Sangomas do, they give you herbs for you to dream. Right? Mm. So you dream of things and you think it's what you see. Yeah. It's not what you see. Are you saying Ubu Sangoma is a scam? Yeah. Because it sounds like you're saying Ubu Sangoma is a scam and there's no validity in Umuto Pulayo. Ubu Sangoma is a scam. Sure. Calling is not a scam. Ubu Ngoma is a scam. A calling is not a scam. Ubu Ngoma, it was formed and started by a person who's like me and you with their own direction that they got from wherever. Now, a calling is what you do that your ancestors show you through visions, through dreams, but not dreams. Uh, but I get not. you. Do you understand what I'm saying? I get you. Fuck me. That's why today you guys are lost. That's why you go, you go to Sangomas when you're desperate. You go to Sangomas when you need something. They'll tell you exactly what you need to hear. Go to a Sangoma when you are not broke, when you don't have problems, when everything is okay, and go hear what they say. They're going to look for trouble. Yeah, yeah, why? yeah. Sangomas, why are they always uh, wanting to, to find solutions? Why? So that, or problems, so that they've got a solution. They don't, the yeah, they make as if they're the ones who've got solutions. Even if there's no trouble, they'll look for one. It's like when you take your phone to my friend, they'll say they'll fix it, but they'll... Uh, Break something. They'll so break come, something so that so you, you come back again. Back. That's what Sangomas do. Now they now they are bashing the ones that that are are taking this calling from their dreams. They say, "Hi, when out Sanga, you are nothing." Why? Because you were shown by your ancestors everything that you do. They don't take you seriously. But if you go to Skoteni and Tosa there, they will take you seriously. They don't take the real calling that you took from your own home serious. But if you go to someone's house and Tosa there, they'll say you are a real Sangoma. Why? So if it's a calling, like you're saying, and it's based on, you know, your ancestors' dream, giving you dreams or whatever. So the Twasa ceremony, what, what's that for? That's what I'm asking them. Why do they have to process it? It's a whole money-making thing. It's a whole money-making scheme. No fucking ways, go, 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 go. I'm telling you. Let me tell you. So are they out there? Okay, tell us. Before. I've got more than 1,000 initiates that I've initiated ever since I started being a Kovela, right? Wow. More than 1,000. <laughs> Most of them are talk to them and say, you do not have a calling. They'll literally cry. I can't even give you my phone. You listen to the, to the voice notes. They'll literally cry and say they do have a calling. Then I chase them away. Next thing you'll see them at some Kovela's house tossing there. Yeah. Yes, yes. My phone, babe. Jesus. And they'll be like, no, I do have a... Can, can, I, can you please borrow me my phone? Oh, this is what say. Yeah, I'll tell them you oh, own a phone. On a phone. They'll literally cry. And want to on have the that thing, Elezos, you know, mm. when mm. I tell them, oh, not those, it just, sure. just accept the fact that you do not have a calling. Mm. Wow. And, and they will not want to take it, you know? Hey, man, my mind is blown, bro. I'm just surprised why people so desperate to be a Sangwa, my man. Because like, it's a trend. It doesn't sound like a nice life, to be honest with you. Mm. I don't want to walk around and, oh, electricity. Is it still there? Yeah, we're still recording. Mark, will you let us know, ne? We're still recording. Yeah, like, I don't want to walk around and see what I want to You know what I mean? Like, yeah. it, 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 it's a gift, but also feels like a burden. And I don't get why people want it so desperately. Because we don't show the bad and part of it. Mm. We don't show the bad and part of it on social media. It's all fun. They see Kokos Kotini walking in front and there are a lot of kids kneeling uh, and like at the back and they're like, I'm a queen. And they worship you. They worship me and they mm. think it's the easiest thing to do. Let's hear the, the, them crying then. Uh, what's her name? Hey. <laughs> no hey, bruh. I'm telling you. Yay. 
Hey! Like they do that all the time. Pearl, the questions I have here now don't even matter. <laughs> they do that all the time. Most most of celebrities, let me tell you something about celebrities who go under this thing of equaling. Uh, they have dreams. Mm-hmm. Their visions of pursuing their careers and all that. And now when things don't go accordingly, uh-huh. uh, they start going to San Gomez and now they tell them that, no, when you didn't th- get that role at Generations because you have a calling on his kwama, what, 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 what. Then they started giving them these haps. Then they start using these things and then they see they have a calling. What kind of a calling are you going to see at the age of 40 but you, None of your family members don't even know that you do have. You yourself, you've never even predicted somebody's headache. Mm. Mm. You've never even predicted anything for that matter. So it's, what can I say? It's a money-making scheme like pastors. They are not different. We are not different from pastors. If, If you truly have a gift, at what age normally would it have revealed itself? From seven. Hmm. From seven. Let me make a typical example. So I've got a kid now. Ne? My kid has been in hospital for like one year, six months now. Mm. Ne? Um, and I have a calling. And if I could go now to a Sangwama now and I tell them that my son is in hospital for that, what are they going to say? They're going to say my sisters are punishing me because I went on national TV and I said I'm having a second husband. Mm. What my son has, it's nothing, it's nothing that has to do with Amadeus. Huh. It's natural. It's, it's, it's life. It's it's life. Kids are allowed to mm. get sick. Mm. Kids are allowed to get sick. He was born without a certain tube in his body. No, no, no hab can give him the tube. No hab. He must go to operations. No hab. Mm. So they're going to tell me, hey, no, you didn't do right by Amadeus or something, something is wrong. You need to trust again, do this and this and that. Wait, man, you know, like doctors have... Uh, these agencies and these places where they go, where they must be approved or their doctor, whatever. Can't we have the same thing with Ubungoma? We do, but they do not double check. What uh, is it called? What, what's it called? It's 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 T H O. It's T- an organization. T H O. Yeah, if 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 Utwasile, you 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 go there, right? T H O is very legit. Sangomas go there. But now there are many organizations that Sangomas get certificates. And also now Sangomas are doctors. Huh. Yeah, they call me Dr. Scotten. Yeah, now. Dr. Scotten, yes. Yeah, they, they are doctors. I mean... So you can get a certificate fraudulently. You, you get, can. You can pay you for can. it. You can. You can. It's not legit. It's not legit. But now when it comes to THO, THO, I've seen it, the, the legit part of it. Because when my kids go to, to them, they'd call me. That do you know this particular person? Did they trust her by you? Reference, yeah. So THO for me is legit. Others, sure. I went to school and um, (laughs) I graduated. I was wearing, uh, was it a blue gown? Yeah, I was wearing a blue gown. It was very funny. I graduated to become Dr. Scott Amy. Did you find it? Sorry. Sorry, let me quickly do that. Mm. So I was called Goko Scotty. I was I was called um, Doctor Scotini there. So I, we as Sangomas, we don't stand who, for who we are. We want to be other people. Why would I want to be a doctor? Mm. Why would I want that title? Mm. If 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 me being a, a, a Sangoma is is okay, mm. why can't I be called Sangoma or Inyanga or Kobela? Because mm. those are our, our titles. Zama. Yeah. Yeah, I'm born in Kosuguti, I'm saving Oban. Conjuban Kamalake? Disappointment. you <laughs> 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 This is all a scam. Hey, bro. So if we are twasa or you find out on a calling at the age of 40 or 30 something... That's a red flag. It's a red flag. It's a red flag. It's a red flag. A red flag. Red flag. Made up because of why, 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 why were you not having visions when you were seven? So then number you first. Yes. Because mm. there, be, there would have been yeah. clues yes. that you've got this thing. 
Yeah, and then even the parents can tell, oh, no, this kid is gifted. And everyone can say, yeah, I've heard. This kid is gifted. Yes. Okay, they're sending that number because I can't see. But so, so what is the role of a sangoma then? A role of a sangoma is to heal. Is to also see what's your problem. You cannot go to a sangoma and say, I've got a problem like this. They must tell you what's your problem. And there's a remember there's a calling. There's isintu, there's isigo. That's different. Please break them down. Now, if, if you have a calling, it means you are called by your forefathers. Now they can speak. They've chosen they've you. They've chosen you. Mm-hmm. You're the chosen one. Exactly. Now, isintu, umteto, wabigwa, aba forefathers wako saying, like Kaya, kids when they're one year, we cut their hair. Kids, when they are doing this, we, we make a ceremony for them, you know, and we cut their umbilical cord, we put it somewhere. That's easy. Go. It has n- exactly. It has nothing to do with your calling. Got you. Now, when you start becoming a Sangoma, you will not do isn't as I say, Kai, which is Amasi Go Yes. No. Yes, you have. Now it's a calling. Yes. It's... And you might be called by your grand grandfather who was not even Shangani, who was not even Zonga, but was Tosa. Mm. Now, when you want to mix your calling with Isin to Sasekai and all that, two it's different things. Oh. That's why Ekai Abazoti, but so we don't have anyone who has a calling at home. Yes, mm. because Aksi Sin do. It's a calling. Mm. And you get people who say, but at home we are Christians. Yes, I'm the chosen one. Mm. Yes. You know? You a are gift, just mere mortals. Exactly. A gift is something that you become chosen to do. It's like you are sent to do something by your forefathers. They want to communicate with you. They want to talk to you. Huh. You know? And now we've got this trend of, you see Sangamas wearing, you know, amapai, the colored amapai, the cloths that they wear. Yes. And we don't even own any of those cloths. They're done by Indians. Oh, okay. we, don't, we don't even own them. We don't even know what it means. We don't even know the history. You dream of something today, already there's a cloth, there's a cloth like that that is being sold at Marabastad. And then you're going to lie and say you dreamed of, of it. You didn't even dream about it. What are the other ones? So you're saying calling? Isigo. Isigo. Nesinto. Isinto. Isinto, it's the tradition part of it. That's why Abantu, when they see Christians celebrating tradition, uh, heritage, they, they're like, why? Because they're Christians. No, they're not celebrating the Sinto part. They're celebrating who they are. Mm. Not the Sinto part. Sorry, can I answer? It's for that. Yes, of course. Yeah, Martha's child. Mm. 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 Yeah, I'm going to go to my because i Mm. So it, it's 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 that. So it becomes something like when you when you are a Christian, people think you can't do lobola, you can't do that has nothing to do. Namazo has nothing. It's isin to a Christian can do isin to sasakai because it has nothing to do. No, no, klabum teto. It's soon to basically um teto sakai. You can start your own sin to when you've got your own family and you've got your own kids. Utsimina lagam. This is what we do. We drink. Yeah. Yeah, we smoke weed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You see in Tosasekai. Mm. So um with this thing, yes, Angoma, they become so defensive. So what are you? I'm a Sangoma. So you talk scam. about yourself. I'm uh, I, I will not say I'm a scam. The only person who can call me a scam is those who come to my Dumba. If with, with all the trends that I've ever had, you've never seen me trending of not doing my job in Dumbin. Because I know that's my strong point. I can trend, but not with my glossy work. So as much as Ubu Sangoma is man-made and it's a scam, which is, I think, what we established, there is still genuine Sangomas with Yeah, the there gift. are. There are. There are still genuine Sangomas, but there are few. No, but then, Many of us are called, but few are chosen. But then you're not a Sangoma. That's a calling. Yes. Listen, I'm a Sangoma, right? It's my calling. I'm called for that. I'm called to heal. I'm called to to do this. I'm called to have solutions. I'm called to do this. But there are those who are being given that. Uh, now they call themselves Sangomas as uh, well. They were not called. They just, no, they, they, just they, they, chose yeah, they chose it. They chose it. it. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's why you see now a lot of them are committing suicide on, on, on social media. You've seen on TikTok they're committing suicide because things as a slangan, it's not who they were meant to be. They took something that is really, they thought there's light into it. 
Okay, and then where does the money come into play? Because I go to ZCC, right? And then I get the, the profit and I get the detail, mm -hmm. but there's never any money transaction. I not with Sangoma, say. Why, why is that? Uh, because now, if you go to a Sangoma, Uyotwasa, they start from 10K upwards. So imagine if you have 50 initiates in the yard. I charge 25K. Weird, but why, why, why is the money if it's a calling and... Now, when you go to a Sangoma, basically, you go there, you already have a calling. Right, um, they teach you how to align yourself with the calling, how to understand your ancestors when they sure. talk to you. They teach you bones. I have a book, my book. It's 172 pages of imiti. What happens is I've got a headline that if somebody has this kind of sickness, you use this happen, this happen, you. you mix it together. Yeah. So you get that hap that 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 book from me when you're done. Okay, so it's when like a course. Done. It's like, like a course. So you get that book Legit. with me when you're done and you get also a certificate when you're done. So with me, when you leave, I know already you're going to work. So that's why when you're playing games and I tell you that this is not who you are, then people get angry about that. But why, where does the money come into? Why? The money come in because I'm giving you what I know. I'm giving you my knowledge. I'm giving you knowledge. my book that you would never had, that your ancestors didn't give to you. Like a, like a doctor. Like yeah. When you go to a doctor, you have to pay. You have to pay. The doctor. Yeah. So now this happens. There are people who would come to me and they don't have money. Still, I help them because I understand this is... Does the money go to you or does it go to your ancestors? How? They are not alive. It comes to me. Because you've got bills and stuff. You need yeah. to as well. Most Sangomas don't have TV shows. So also. what's the difference? What, what do you think about ZCC, by the way? ZCC is a good... It's a good church. I recommend ZCC. I love ZCC. So what about the, I don't know if their profits or whatever, those, they don't get paid, do they? No, they don't. So what's... The thing is, hence I'm saying back in the days, Sangomas would just help you for free. Yeah. Sangomas would just help you even if you don't have money. Not now. Not now. Where did now we... it's a carrier. They say it's a carrier. Where did we lose that? We lost it when we started making it fashionable. We lost it when we started making it your only income. That's why today when we become DJs, they're like, ah, Sangome DJ, because they believe that you must only concentrate in your Dumba. That's where you must only stay. And then that's where you come with this bad mentality of scamming people. So we fucked it up by starting to charge people. Yeah, we shouldn't have. I wouldn't mind working for free. I, honestly, I wouldn't mind. I wouldn't mind working for free. I wouldn't mind helping people for free at all. Mm. At all. But now it's impossible because of how the society has built with Ubungoma. And also the sad part about this is people want the bad side of it. You know, when people come to us, they're like, go go for the You know, I want, I want McG not to be successful. Eish. Damn. That's what people do. In Yenzeni. When Zeni. People hate you for nothing. Hmm. And people do that. Now that's not you being a Sangoma. Hey, that's witchcraft. Let's get into the dark side of 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 um, the calling of the calling in witchcraft. Like, how dark does it get? It gets so dark. I remember. When was it? Gotta need a drink before Me you. Too. Yeah. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Pendruk. <laughs> hey, it's my man. Ay, 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 ay. When was it? It was right after. I got initiated, right? Um, my Kobela. Remember when you go when you get initiated, there are people who they just come to you and you don't know the dark side of Ungoma. Then they come to you, they said, Coco, this is what I want. Now I started being friends with people who were already Sangomas, you know. Mm, of course. And um And you look they, up to them. I look up to them. What they taught me, if this what Sangoma is, being a Sangoma is, then I'd rather pass. Yeah. I've, I've seen the worst. Voluntarily. So you didn't say, I want to know this. They were like, you need to know this. Yeah, because honestly speaking, it's that's what brings money in Dombe. Okay. Oh, damn. Because out of people, out of 100 people that you might have, 70% or 80% of them, they want this dark side. And 20% is Because it groups. brings the chunkwas, the, the money. People want success. Yeah. So. Quick fix. Honestly speaking, as much as there's a lot of people who are okay, unemployed. Okay, so it was like, yo, listen, you need to know this if you want to survive. Yeah. 
And also, you need to know this because a lot of clients, this is what they want. Oh my God. And it's not you saying, no, I want. it's not me. And when you look at it, that's so true. People will bewitch each other because of a boyfriend. Fuck me. I'm telling you. Like, I've seen the worst ever since I became a Sangoma. And people might call Sangomas evil, but it's what they want when they go to Sangomas. But as a Sangoma, right? If someone comes to you and they say, I want money and I want it now, right? I don't care what dark thing I need to perform. Mm. Aren't you just a catalyst and you are not you are absolved from whatever dirty rituals are going to be performed? Because that same guy will go to somebody else if you say no. So aren't you innocent in the equation? You cannot give somebody, someone something that you don't have. Meaning, if you're gonna, if, if, if I'm gonna tell you that you need to sacrifice certain things, and for you to have money, that means I also did the same. Hmm. Huh. There's no sangoma who will give you a snake and they do not have. There's no sangoma also twali sa anga twalang. Wait, 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 let's go back. The snake thing is a real thing. Yeah, it's a real thing. No way. It's, it's cool. a real thing. But now these snakes, it's snakes that you will not see with your naked eye. Ah, these snakes that we see with the naked eye, I don't worry. You bought them at pet shops. Wait, man, how is that even possible? How does a snake give you money? Snakes sleep with skulls. Men buy a hamba by your toilet, and then snakes sleep with these girls. So it's a, a spirit that's sleeping with the girls. If yes. It's not a, a physical serpent, a snake that we know from the zoo. No. How's that related to money? Now, what happens is the snake is the owner of the river most of the time, right? Let me talk about. What I of do, course, of course. Right? The snake is the owner of the river most of the time. And if I need to have that power, also I need to go fetch that power. It's just now that's not a calling, hey? It's something we do on our own. Mm. Now I have to go and fetch that power from the snake itself. The snake, it even vomits money. Now, if I say you come to me and say, you know, it's fine, you can kill a chicken, you can kill yeah. something very small every month for you to get this money and you feel like it's small. In another month, I'm going to tell you to kill a cow. In another month, you go, you're go, you going to end up killing your kids. Yes. You're going to end up killing your family. To feed the snake. To feed the snake. Because the snake drinks blood to survive. You see, oh I believe goodness. the whole snake thing, up until it gets to a point where you say the snake, it shines like mad. It does. Because money, when it's printed, it's got specifications, <laughs> security specifications, <laughs> things you see under the light. So how does this, how does this snake have the software updates now, of the South African Reserve Bank where they print the money or the mint where they print the money? Let me explain it. <laughs> Let me show you the rotation. It's not far. And I'm glad you asked that. <laughs> Let me make you understand. Yeah. Now, it's five of you. Yeah. You come to me. You want money. And I say, Mac, in order for you to have 50K, bring 50K. Um, no, if you want 50K, bring 20K. You bring 20K, gotcha. right? You know Triple M was? Yeah, yeah, it's pyramid scheme. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now you come. Then I go to the snake, give that snake the money. The snake takes the money. Then you come and say you want the same thing as uh, Mac. Mm. The money that Mac gave me, I'm going to give it to you. The money that you gave... Ganjalo, ganjalo. Pyramid scheme model. Thank you. So you can go to Anduba and get money, actually like cash money mm -hmm. from the snake. Yeah. That's I, I have I have my own Dumba way by, I think few of my Twasa know and like there's money in there, right? And they know they don't touch that money. I know the stories that used to go around that when somebody sleeps in my Dumba, they feel like there's a snake, but when they wake up, they can't see the snake, things like that. With me, it's not that snake. It's my ancestors like... They stay in my Ndumba. Of course, yeah, yeah. So my Ndumba is very cold. Yeah. No matter, you can put on a heater, it's very cold. All I can tell you, Mac, when it comes to Ubungoma, there's so much lies. And oh. it's like 90% of lies. If you want the real deal of Ubungoma, you have to be a witch. Dude, but it's so fucked up because like you get hardworking people like myself and Saul... Mm -hmm. uh, you know, everyone has seen our journey. Mm -hmm. We're starting to make a little bit of money now, but now it's like we've got a snake. Like every black person now, when they make money, you've got a oh, snake. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, because they don't think we can work hard. Same as me, I'm working my ass out, but people will say, no, it's because of she has extra powers. We've seen that. According to us, the way we are so disturbed or. The girl, one big question. brother. 
she, she saw she was going to win. She saw? I think she's a Sangwamas and she won. So people were saying she saw she was going to win. Did she, she see? Extra powers. No, but I'm saying that's what people are saying. Oh, yeah, that's, yes, that's what people are she saying. Won, yes. Yeah, but she was not going to work that hard on Big Brother if she knew she was going to win. Yes. Then she was going to relax and say, I've got this. I've got this. You see, Matt just said some people are hardworking, whatever, whatever, you know? Mm-hmm. And some are not. They take the short way out. How do we differ? How can you tell? Mm. Genuine success versus success or through consulting. You can. Now, these are the signs. They'll have more than three wives, which is Istanbul. One of them must not have kids. Because the snake is eating the womb. Okay, okay. Check it out. Okay, red flag number one. Check it out. Most of them are toilet and they're going to have abafas, but one of them must not have kids. Like that guy from Durban, man. Ah, ah, nah. Oh, excuse me. Musa, Musa, Musa. Musa, Musa. Musa. Musa Kulum. Musa Kulum. Musa Kulum. No. You know, one of them must not have kids. Then the other one, he's walking barefoot. You know, he doesn't usually wear, wear shoes. I know a guy who, do, who used to do that at a class. Yeah. The other one, very dirty. They don't bath, but they've got money like dust. They don't bath. The other one, they have to always have different goals. That's why they go to clubs Monday. To Monday, they have the, they must have different goals, you know, because the snake. Other one, they must a man must sleep with a man. Man, what if someone is just homosexual and no, successful? that happens, but I'm just telling you. They'll get married, Some. yes. Okay. Some, not all of them. So these are the signs that you have to look at. It's that one, yes, Tembu. It's that one of being dirty, that one of walking barefoot, that one of sleeping with different girls, that one of sleeping with men. With women, they'll not get married. Also with men, they'll not get married, most of them, because the snake is their wife. Sure. Hey, man, I'm scared, man. Ah, but hey, it sounds scary. like... So you, as the wife, you uh, can't have kids. Uh, the husband knows and uh, you pill fresh, my soul. But here's the thing now, right? I know a lot of, like, especially white people mm-hmm. who either don't want kids and they're super rich. And we normalize that as black people to say it's fine for white people. But now it's going to be like when it comes to black people and you've got the same beliefs, which are genuine, kids are expensive. They hold you back a lot of times when you want to travel the world and do all these things. Mm -hmm. So then people are going to be falsely accused just because they've chosen a particular lifestyle. No, not all of them. So white people, do they take polygamy? Mm. Rare, it's rare. Thank you. When it comes to white people, I've got white clients. So huh. they, they, they understand what they know. Huh. What do white clients want? They want, they, they, want they want money. They want money. They want money. They're in the business. They're having shares. They are about to open a mall. Oh, Why should I go to Rosebank Mall and not go to Sentence Cent- City? Mm. Why your mall specifically? Huh. Club. How do you consult with a white person? Because I do. It has Elosabo. What like do you? Does it get there? How do you connect to their ancestors? Like, I don't know. Don't their ancestors go, what the hell have you brought us to? You've summoned us to this weird yeah. place. We don't the know. first time I had a white client, I was also puzzled. I was like, okay, what's going to happen now? And I did consult them. And funny enough, I don't know Afrikaans, but um, that particular day, there's a lady who was speaking to me in Afrikaans in a spiritual world where I was looking at the guy and then I told him there's a woman, she's sitting in a chair like this, she's wearing that and then she's busy, you know, with baby clothes and she's saying, I'm going to say this to you and then she was like, fuck, that's my mom and the guy started crying. Wow. Wow. So sometimes it happens that when you come to my Ndumba, I start speaking like someone that is not there. That, I don't know how do I, I, I it's something I can't call. Yeah, it just happens. Yeah. So maybe a year it can happen once or twice. Tell me something. Don't you get lost in terms of going into the spiritual world and the real world? Like, do you sometimes struggle to know what is real? Yeah, I do. Ne? I do a lot. Uh, because now I need to know which one is which. Am I thinking this as Utumi as a normal person? Or or is this the real Scotani? Because not all the time you'll be like, oh, you know, all these things. No, not all the time. Sometimes it's just something that comes in. You have to ask yourself, am I thinking this... Because I saw it, is this déjà vu, or am I being shown by my ancestors? So it's tricky, and it'll forever be tricky. There's no solution to that. That when this happens, it's your ancestors for real, real, real. No. Do you feel like a god? I feel special. Because you're a kingmaker, essentially. Yeah, I, I feel special that I can communicate with the dead. 
I feel very special. And that's why I, I love and respect my ancestors. People must not get me wrong. I love and respect my ancestors, but the Ubungoma part cut me out. Oh, I wanted to ask you, man, uh, according to you, to me, what do you think is the essence of life? Like, what are we here to do? Are we here to just buy cars, houses? This is heaven. Have kids? <laughs> life is heaven for us. There's no any other. But we what are we heaven. here to do? We're here to, to fulfill our, po- our, our purpose. As for me, with the relationship that I have with God, I feel like he wanted to see his power through me. It's like you testing the podcast. Can I do this? Can I do this? Mm. Now you are here. I'm like, damn, this is me. Mm. That's what God wants with us. To he created us his purpose. His purpose. His purpose. Wow. He wants to see his power through us. God sees himself through us. Mm. The more we, we we succeed, the more he says, fuck, I created this. Oh my God. Mm. It's like starting a brand, mm. you know? And then when you see it going far, you're like, oh, did I do this? So that's what that's what God created. That's why God created us. And we're supposed to enjoy this. And we're earth. supposed to enjoy it. The, all the beautiful things he created. Exactly. So we must understand their personal choices that will take us to living the life that we're currently living, but we must pick ourselves up and just move on. And, and I like the way, the way that you use choices because we all have choices. Yeah, we all have choices. I mean, oh. as a spiritual child, there are things that I did and I had to pay for that. You know, the things that it's not good things that I did. Mm. I had to pay for that. What is that? Yo. What is that? Must can't be as bad as... Uh, 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 um, you know, bewitching someone or something. Mm. It is. It is. I saw myself separating a couple through Umuti and I was only testing it. Oh. You know? Whoa. So they were like guinea pigs. And it worked and the guy hated the girl so bad. So, so bad. And a year later, it happened that the girl ended up coming to me for a consultation and the way she cried, and then I felt bad. I, I felt like telling her that I was the the reason why. What what what, what made you make that decision? I liked the guy. Oh. I liked the guy, so I was testing my power, mm. and it worked. That's insane. So how did you do that? I seven this is three so at twelve o'clock at night I missed my hips and then I went outside and then ngalat lang ngalat ngan isinto zam and then when I did that, okay, okay, I was very aggressive towards the girl. Wambona ngatui. How does that concoction know who to attach itself to and which relationship, which direction to go, essentially? You need to so know their names. You name. need to know their names. You need to know their same names. Oh. Hebs, Hebs, let me tell you. Okay, this is very tricky, but I need you to, to listen to it with understanding. Ne? Cool. Muti is not powerful without you. Because you tell Muti what to do. Mm. You cannot use Muti without saying anything. You cannot footer and be quiet. Uh-huh. So who's who, who's got power between you and Muti? You. Why? Because you are the one instructing Muti what to do. Yeah. yeah. So you are the powerful. Weapon. You are the powerful one. So meaning you can't live without Muti. Yeah. You see. Yeah. So so so. You can. You can. Okay. You can. can you? Quick one. If you can, that guy is living without Muti, but the Skrito worked. How could he without Muti protect himself? From the street. Now that's where your powers come in. You need to tell yourself, good. I, as Usol, nothing. Nothing will ever work, not on this body. And that's your power. That's your power. But if you go to another Sangoma to look for power, for somebody to give you power, or for somebody to say, that's where my mood and your mood will meet up. Then, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Then anything can happen to you. <laughs> Yeah, because there'll always be a strong Sangoma. Yes. That's why one. once you start engaging in Muti, yes. there's always going to be a stronger person than whoever so don't you're going use it. to. Don't use Muti. Let them do what they have and see what happens. Yeah. Nothing's going to happen to you. Yeah, of course. Yeah, nothing's going to happen to you. Let them use Muti. Let them go if anywhere, even to the most powerful Sangoma. Then you'll see who's powerful. Even the Sangoma, when they mix herbs, they talk. So why use herbs if you are powerful than herbs? Mm. Why use them? You cannot, if, if I give you Muti for lucky, you'll have to speak when you use it. Mm. And why don't you use, put the herb aside and talk to yourself and say, this is what I want to you to do to me and you're going to do it. Because you have the power. Because you have the power. So that guy was essentially weak. Very weak. <laughs> was it right? <laughs> it worked. It was very weak. It worked. 
Yeah. And, and funny part, after that, I didn't want him because I saw... <laughs> Loyga is just like that. Yeah, he was weak. I was like, nah. Yeah. nah if he's this weak, then nah, he can't be mine. Let him go. Nah, back. let him go. Do love potions really work? Like, I, 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 and I live happily ever after with this person, or it also has repercussions somewhere down the line. Love potions do work because I tried it with my husband, mm. and we got married in less than three months. So it worked for me. Mm. It worked for me, and I'm happy. And I was building my home. Yeah. You know, I was not destroying him. Mm. If he feels like he wants to give me love potion as well, I don't mind. But I liked him, and he liked me too. Mm. Wait, so he took the love potion knowing that? No, I put it in my private pot. She was securing. She was investing. Yeah. Mm. So we made love and... Yeah, we and have it today. Yeah, you ain't going nowhere. Damn, it worked for me honestly. And as a couple, if you decide to do it together, I recommend you to do it. Mm. I recommend you to do it. I'm not breaking anything. I don't want to get divorced. I don't want because I've got kids before him. He's got kids before me. So you don't want other kids? No, I don't want to have other kids those. with another guy. No. Uh, tell me about this thing that I... Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. How will the guy know or woman know if the person... Is Signs of is this one. First sign is when you are out and you know that your girlfriend likes you coming back before 10. And you know when your heart skips a beat, even if that's not the case, even if you're thinking about your partner and then... It's... You know, you know, yeah, that but now lo that we mix with food that I do not like because there are herbs that are not okay. People end up losing their jobs because of that. Because if I got another is dinner, utando umuntu akupela. Oh, everybody else, you're an irritant. You just they, you get irritated. Oh. Yeah, when people talk about, you just feel like I need to watch where my husband is going or where my girlfriend is going all the time. Those are the signs of ikorobela. Man, at what age did you start figuring all this shit out, man? This is wild, bro. I did my and I'm 36. I did a lot of research while I became a Sangoma. Remember, I, I was a very big Christian. I was born again. I'm still born again. I believe in God. Mm. I love God. I love him so much, you know. Yeah. I'm still a born, I'm still a born again, but not a Christian because Christianity is also religion, you know. So um all these things I learned. And I had to dig deep that, God, if you are moving me from this world to this world, what is it that you wanted me to see? So I think God chose me to become a Sangoma so that I can see the dark side and bring it to people. Bro, because here I am, bro, thinking, ah, oh, this is great. Celebrities are becoming Sangomas. It's now being celebrated. It's not being looked down upon. We're going back to our roots as Africans. It's our thing. That's the Let's thing. embrace it's not it. our roots. This thing of us saying being Sangomas, we're going back to our roots. What roots? It's not our roots. It's not who we are. It's a religion. Going back to our roots, it's who you. It's you knowing your surname, your forefathers, and whatnot. Not this calling, calling, and going back to your roots. We are lost. <laughs> There's well, still a long way to go. Okay, if it's not our roots, didn't we though have like people who had the calling? Maybe they didn't label it as Zangoma, but seers, people who could see, and Bapule. Uh, that, Surely that, we had that. Way, yes, way but back. it's a calling. It's not your roots. It's not who you are from again. Mm, mm. If wow. it's, if you're going to say, Ekaya, Sibantube calling, then all of you must have a calling. Mm. It's not in just Ekaya. You become chosen from the, Labantuba Sekaya. You mm. become picked by your ancestors. You understand? So we are not going back to our roots. If you are going back to our roots, why are you going back to our roots? It's hey. our roots. If it's our roots. Oh. Yeah, yeah, I've seen it, man. That's yeah. so, so, so strange. So you map my roots as cool outin. Tell me about this thing of waking people from the dead. It happens. Octabula. Octabula gun octabulu guti. I want somebody to become my slave and just work for me. Octabula gun octabulu guti. Yila aba aba abutigolo shu, you know. They just want to destroy people's life. They want to use you so that you can do evil things for them. And also they use kids, even kids who are Boma from three years to seven years, they use them for Ipsugu to do weird things. That's why you need to listen to kids when they speak that, mommy, at night, this is what I was doing. I was flying. I was take take 
big responsibility of such things. Pray for your kids. People are wild. Pray for your kids, but don't give your kids herbs. You are attracting these spirits, eh? So, what are you saying? Herbs attract spirits. Any herb that you're going to use, you are attracting spirits from different people, and it's gonna come to you. So if you don't, if you don't use any muti, and I go to a sangoma and bewitch you, it's gonna be hard because you're not using anything. So before you can start using muti, think. You must you're, be strong. Using our kids. Yeah, they do. They do. They do. Then these kids end up being suicidal because nobody understands. Mutate, I was like, she's tired. All she wants is to sleep. But only in Lelongo seven. So, Uktwebula, okay. Yo, yo, yo. Hey. Yeah, they do. Kids are pure, right? Yeah. Kids don't, kids don't have sex, right? Mm. Kids are pure. And that's what Sangomas want. You saw, uh, I was watching the users the other day. They even called me to come and interview. It's just that I was busy. Um, There was a kid where they were cutting their parts. You know, they cut their body parts, their private parts, their breast, their tongue, because they use that for bad things. Okay, guys, but if you were that powerful, why didn't you finish apartheid? Yeah, and all the other atrocities, yeah, it's, black it's, people. If some women were that powerful, why? why? Why couldn't they finish all this rubbish that is happening now in South Africa? Hey, man, my mind is fucked up why, right now, why, man. why can't they finish all this? Back in the days, why? That shows, Guti, we've got a line of giving you guys your spirituality. That's why I'm saying everyone has their spirits in them. Everyone, they are spiritually aligned. We as Sangomas, we are there to give them the light to, to their spirituality. I'm not here to give you solutions as a Sangoma, but I'm here to align you to your spirituality so that you can get answers from your ancestors. Yo, hi, let's go for a smoke break, man. <laughs> yo, 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 yo. Coco So, so you're saying some people could be dead like physically, but they're not dead. Yeah. They're not dead. You know what, Ne? Um, we have done so much when it comes to the Sangoma side that is bad. And when people start coming out with the bad things that we have done mm. and we want to protect ourselves, it's either we come back as Sangomas to the real deal and do what is right because this calling thing, it is there. Mm. Mm. But real. how we doing it, that's not what is there. Currently. Currently. So how do we fix it? In an ideal world, how should it be? It's it's difficult for us to fix it to fix it because we don't get along. Mm. So I, I myself I'm okay. Mm. So we we can't we can't fix this mess that we've created because we don't get along. Now how do I protect myself, my family? Because like with everything that you're saying, it sounds like there's a lot of fuckery happening. Pray, Mac. Pray. Manifest things. Put things into existence by using the power of your tongue. Mm. Even Muti cannot be bigger than you. It's not. Do we need to use Muti? Yes. Is it bigger than you? No. So that's a choice. And why do you guys use like goats and chickens and stuff? What's the meaning behind that? Now, when you come to Edlozin, you come to Edlozin with the sense of humbleness, you know. And what you give, you cannot give your ancestors what you don't eat as well. Okay. Because it's like I'm giving you something I don't want, sure. you know. So, Maslaba. Let me tell you this. Umautwasa, I said this on TikTok that it is a sacrifice between you and your ancestors. Mm, mm. Because you drink blood, right? Mm, mm. It's not a secret that Sangomas drink blood. Mm. You drink blood. Now, you sacrifice your life to become this new person that lives inside you. Hmm. Now, your life becomes on hold. Now, you become this new person, right? Now, manhlaba ekhaya nisuke mhlabela amadlozi idlo zilikhulunyiswa ngesilwane only if nenza a ceremony mm. but if you don't do a ceremony you can pass like ancestors listen to you whether you you slaughter or not mm. you know have mm. you ever slaughtered before 
No, 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 no. But I remember my grandmother when she was still around. Mm-hmm. We had a ceremony at, at at home. I was still young. I can't remember what happened. Mm-hmm. But like the ZCC church came and they danced for like the whole exactly. night. Exactly. It's giving thanks. Yes. It's like Thanksgiving. So now you haven't slotted anything. What are they gonna say? Hey, podcast is oh why it was Because you don't slaughter. Mm. It's not like that. Create a relationship with your inner self. Create a relationship with your ancestors by yourself. Then you will see the importance and the power that you have as an individual. Yeah. Yeah, man. And have you ever like protected like a murderer or, or someone who wanted to kill someone? I've got guys from uh, Zulu, from Natal. And I protect hey, them. Yeah, I've got that. That I have. What do you mean you protect them? I protect them that when they go do these things and they need to, you know, be protected. What is protecting them in the process of doing it? For them not to get killed in the process, for them not to get arrested. Yeah, but like, Obakezisangani. Obakezisangani intelezi zogui vigela. You can understand. So if bayers are empty, in bayo pega na nempi, kwamele ba vigela egutsi, this thing must not turn back into them. But it's their job. Now I'm doing my job. I will return back to send. I need to the family would want to know who killed this person. They'll want to go to a Sangoma so that whoever killed this person can be. Yeah, return. Yeah, so I'm giving them. And you sleep at night? I do. It's it's my job. So there's no moral compass, nothing. Hence, I'm saying I want, by all means, I have a relationship with God and there are certain things I told myself I don't want to do anymore. There's, hence I say that whether you like it or not, you know when you're a Sangoma, you end up doing the witchcraft side because if a Sangoma is going to send lightning to my house, what am I going to do? Mm. If a Sangoma sends something to me, what am I going to do? Obviously, I'm going to return back to sender. And when I return back to sender, me and that person, we are the same. But but you said if we manifest enough, the, the lightning is not going to hit. Yes. Now that's where it is. When did we start knowing that we can manifest enough? Remember when you go to Asa, you get brainwashed that Umut is the only way. Mm. Now when you start seeing this thing, man, this is possible. This I can do. They don't tell you that when you trust. They don't tell you that when you trust. They want you to do this road mm. only. They want you to I believe see. in this thing I only. See. Now when you start understanding, when you start knowing that, oh man, this is possible. I can live without this. I can do this. Now, that's where you start learning. I understand a lot of people are going to attack me by saying this. But now when you, it's a stage. You learn that this I can do, this I cannot do. This I can live without, this I cannot live without. So Sangomas are being told that you can't live without Umuti. You can't live without this. You can't live without that. And I think we are also afraid to live outside the box. And we are afraid to ask our Kobelas that, why am I doing this? Mm. They tell you, do this, you only do it. You think it's a protocol. You don't ask, why should I do that? Sounds like your life, you meet, I now peace. It doesn't have peace. So if someone is already entrenched in that life, deep in it, how do they end it if they want that peace that came before they started in meet? Is there something you do or you are here, like cold turkey? We are here, and then that's when you start meditating with yourself. That's when you 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 become to a born again in Christianity. But I can say you relive really now. You now it's like finding yourself. So like you know, it's sitting down with yourself and say, "This is what I don't want anymore," yeah, yeah. and you tell yourself that I'm done. It's like leaving a relationship, going to start a new one, telling yourself you don't want to love Matidiso anymore. You want to move away from Matidiso. So I'll never stop being a Sangoma because this is a calling. It's inside me. I'm meant to heal. I think as Sangomas, if we could if we could understand our role, if we could say no, if somebody comes to me and saying and I am bold enough to say Funi, I only heal, then I'll stand firm and say, Yeah, now I'm a real Sangoma. So with with everything that's happening right now and everything that you know and everything that you've shared with us now. Where do you see the world right now, or maybe even just the country, and where are we heading? You know, with me, I feel like we are in the wrong direction because earlier we said, and not only here, but it's something that has been happening lately that Sponamantawaning Batwa is like, hey, since actually we are going back to our roots, but we don't really realize that uh, the more Abantu Batwa is, the more they commit suicide. Mm. the more their life goes down the drain, the more they can become more depressed than before. But was a, a lot is happening in the process, yet we are rejoicing from outside and say, yes, we are I think we must start 
by really understanding who we are and see me with the calling and concentrate more of Isinto said of Ubuntu bit of being black and understanding who we are before we can quickly run into the calling side. Because La Payana, it's survival of the fittest. You have to be strong. You have to know what you want. Because the more the weak you are, it's the more you get attacked spiritually. That's when you get trapped into doing wrong things. So with me, I see us slowly but surely going down the drain. Huh. We are not where we should be and where we're supposed to be. To such an extent, you could see, we fight for everything. We fight... We want to be relevant everywhere. We want, we want to be allowed to wear Amahia Eskolwen. We want, we want to rule, but what what are we ruling? Are we ruling Ubungoma or are we ruling who we are? Amapai Ubungoma, is it who we are? No, that's not being black. Being black is African. Being black, it's wearing, it's Tosa Sako, it's being Zulu, it's being mm. proud of that. Mm -hmm. If we could say we are fighting for that Eskolwen, then I would understand. But we cannot fight for a religion and not fight for who we are. So I think we are lost. We need to first learn to differentiate spirituality, religion, and who we are. Because religion and spirituality is not who we are. So sometimes when you're feeling down and you've got anxiety or depression, that's a spiritual thing. That could be. It, it could be, but not the calling side, hey? Mm. The spiritual thing is Saul fighting with his spirit inside him. Soul fighting with his demons, soul fighting with uh, life challenges. Now, how you get the solution and what you need to do with that, then it will determine who soul is. So no situation, you must allow it to be bigger than you. You are bigger than the situation. A situation, it's all over in corner, so you must control it. Don't allow it to bring you down. Which of tech? Not now. You cannot put me into that. So the reason why I'm getting most of the people, they end up, but when they are really, really depressed or when they are sick, because these are most of the signs that you get as a spiritual person before you harm your trust. And that's the question I always ask my sisters. We say, why should you lose everything in order for you to realize you have a calling? Why can't you get everything you want? And at the end of the day, they say, you have all of this. We blessed you because you have a calling. Why should you suffer? Mm. Am I, am I, why do I have to go to something that is making me suffer? What light does it give me? Mm. It doesn't give me any light. You're losing everything because you have a calling. Why can't I get everything because I have a calling? That shows it's special. a blessing. Yeah, hey, I'm special. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. why? It and what, what's the correlation or the similarities between mental illness and, and a calling? Is there a Seeing thin things. line? Seeing things. Remember when you you are depressed and we've got anxiety and we've got you start seeing things you you start telling yourself that this is how things are supposed to be and also when you have a spiritual calling you see things as well now is angoma is a mix a logo now what you're going through and when you're facing a certain situation it depends on how deep it is you dream about it almost every day you dream of if if you're going through the worst you dream of the worst things ever. Mm. And we must also differentiate between dreams that of something that you dream about because you were going through it during the day. Have you noticed when you start your first job, you dream about what was happening the whole day? And when you get home as a waiter, you dream of saving people. So it, that's an indication that there are dreams that come because of your daily life and your daily activities. There are dreams that come because of a communication from your ancestors. There are dreams that come because of your spiritual line. You how, do you, to, how do you know which one is which? Now, you need to first look at yourself where you are, right? I'll make an example with me. With where I am currently, the dreams I'm dreaming, it's the fear of what I always think about. I always fear that if I come up and say this, how will other Sangomas take it? How will other... Now, I always dream of being attacked. I always dream of seeing things because now it's what I always think about. Mm -hmm. Now, how do I differentiate that? A vision, you have a little bit two minutes, like you're just sitting a couch and you're like, Tum, that it's a vision and you feel like you've been dreaming for an hour but when you check the time, how it was five o'clock and now it's five past five but it felt like an hour, that's a vision, that's not a dream. And it can happen any time of the day. And it's not even something similar to what you've been um, experiencing. Then Gunama Deja Vu. There's so many ways that com ancestors communicate with us. And there are energy senses. You don't have to go to Endumbeni to see something. There are energy senses. And you're like, 
something is wrong here. Mm. Something is not right. Man, so you are not okay. The the the, yes. last, the last dream I had. Uh, no, just say, no. I'm, no. I'm just saying. No. I'm just saying. No. I'm just saying for an example. The last dream uh, I had, Lil Wayne was in the country and I was hosting him. I was driving him around, showing him a kasi. Mm, then that's I woke nice. up. Yeah. That's nice. I don't know what that. What does that mean? No, you know when you dream of celebrities, people say it's it's um, it's 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 ancestors. <laughs> Why would they accommodate ancestors with celebrities? Meaning, there's something that you're looking for that is you think it's bigger than you. And you're the direction of that. Lil Wayne. I was just driving around Lil Wayne. He exactly. Came to the country. Lil, Lil Wayne is big. Mm. Right? Mm. Lil Wayne is big. Massive. And you are the one leading. Really meaning you are showing him the hood that he doesn't know. So there's something that you're about to do, something that you're looking forward to do, but you are going to control it. But you think it's bigger than you. Oh. Fuck. <laughs> So you think it's, and it's not big, meaning you're going to drive it anyway. Yeah. You're going to show it the direction anyway. It's not bigger than you. Oh, the little way is just to show how big. Yes, how big that thing is. And you're going to be the control of it. That's insane. But it's not, yeah. So So you can decipher dreams just like that? Yeah, dreams, um, I'm very good in dreams, but I don't like explaining them publicly, you know. Yeah, I don't yeah, like, yeah, yeah. I don't like coming up and saying, yo, Mina, yes. matambo, Mina can do this. No, I want you to tell me about my job when you come to Mendumba. I wanted to ask you, how do you feel about Sangomas doing prophecies at Groove without people's consent? That's unprofessional. Nah. No, that's unprofessional. When, when I'm a, you must not feel good to I'm a Sangoma. I'm human, you understand? I don't carry my ancestors everywhere. But if it happens, there's something I see about you. And then I must ask you if you are comfortable first. first. I must not just come up to you. Just... It's none of your business. Even mm. though your ancestors showed me, but it's none of my business. I must ask. Because that happens a lot, bro. It happens. I, was, I once I was sitting in a taxi, and this woman next to me was a little you know? And I thought maybe we young Pula, but because of her professionalism, she's trying to keep it from me. Mm. Wasn't but she hungry? But obviously those kind of things you can't control. <laughs> Wasn't she yeah. angry? <laughs> no, but in that way, man, you know the way you guys do it. I can do it now. Yeah. Oh, yeah, do it, do it. You know, I can I can burp without ancestors being there. Yes, you need just, like mm. guys, you need to you need to differentiate. Just stay a day without eating. You'll burp the whole day. Mm. Don't eat from six to six. You'll burp, you're gonna burp the whole day. Okay. Burping cool. doesn't mean you have a calling. Cool. Uh, I got some questions from from, from chillers, yeah? Huh. All right, here we go. What do you say to some people who say you are following trends like DJing and then podcasting because it's trendy? I'm not going to stop doing what I can do because of what people say. Mm. And uh, when it comes to podcasting, um, I feel like my space is needed as so far I'm the... My my subscribers mm. are very scary. My following is very scary on, on my massive. YouTube channel. It's beautiful. To and see. I really appreciate. So that shows my space was needed. Mm. You know, there are other podcasts, but my space mm. as a female podcast was needed. And then when it comes to the DJ parts, I used to be booked. I'm a sangomane, but they'll book me at Lapin and say, come. And I'm not a host. I don't even know what hosts do. I get you. So they'll just book me to be there so that I can be on the poster. And I'm like, why can't I put effort on that? Why, what, why can't I do something mm. instead of me coming then sitting at Lapin? Because I'm not a host. I don't do a host. Drink the rider. I don't drink the rider. I don't even ask for my ride. I don't, you know. So well, let's like, tell us. I solve. Uh, <laughs> so I out. <laughs> So I was like, no, let me do something for 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 that, you know. Mm. And I did my first gig last week. Oh my god! Oh, shout out, man! Shout How out was it? How was it? I, it was Kompomalanga. Oh my god! There are people who drove all the way from Val. Wow! wow. People from Trekstop, they came, and it was. I enjoyed it. And did you practice to DJ? Did you? I take did. I or? did practice. I'm currently practicing still. Still, of course. With yeah. Mapente from mm. um, Pretoria, it's called Mapente Music Academy. Mm. The guy was very chilled, and he came with me to my first gig you know he's still teaching me and I see myself growing uh, and I think with the more people talk the more they push me to grow how much uh, are you charging no I'm charging 10k oh that's not bad yo mm -hmm. you just started last week 10k already yes and I'm fully booked for November hey. yeah. pretty, it's pretty and famous privilege 
How many have to be on this? Oh, the man. No, but let's be honest. There's DJs, female DJs, mm -hmm. you know, who are struggling like with 3K, 5K, and they've been playing for a while. So obviously, mm -hmm. because you're famous and you're beautiful as well. Thank you. All those things matter, you know what I mean? They when we started DJ, we were charging 1K, 1.5. 1.5. Yeah, 1.5 on a good, good gig. <laughs> and I'm fully booked for November. December, I have three gigs so far. And no, no, you're going to get fully booked. Yeah, really? I mean, it's just a matter of time. Thank you. What do you play? I love Afrotech. Afrotech. Oh. I, I love it so much. I, I don't like piano, but it will depend on the crowd. Yeah. If I go to a place and I can see good, when I'm a piano, I'll play piano, but I love Afrotech. What do you feel as a Sangoma with Ama Piano? Because they're always talking about like traditional stuff, like Abantu pants. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it's always got some yeah. uh, Sangoma think... vibes, ne? Yeah, it does. No, even let's go to the Yes, yes. Like, no, you go to the I think um, they, these songs, it's songs that we relate more to, you know, by as a sneaking. So when they play these songs, it's songs that speaks to our heart most of the time. You know, I feel like I'm a piano artist, they understand it when they manage, you know. So Bahamba, remember Sangoma out there, Abantlozi are out there. So they speak to us. But don't you think they are doing what you're doing, but via music? Maybe because I feel oh, like yeah. most of the artists get a calling as well. Like True, the vocals, do. some some artists sing a song, they don't even remember what they said in the song. Yes. Because it was from a, another place. That's healing as well. Yes. They don't even have to be initiated for that. Yeah. They heal us through music yeah. and they heal themselves as well through music. Yeah. So yeah, music heals as well. So yeah. They're doing good for themselves. Sure. They're doing good. Okay, next question. Uh, how does she feel about the woman who was a gobella denouncing her and distancing herself from her? Yo. I don't want to speak bad about my Gobella, but me and her, we don't have a relationship anymore. And uh, it, it, it was a decision I took. She didn't, she didn't contribute to my success mm. when it comes to Ubungo Magbam. I worked to be where I am. That's why I'm not going to reply. I respect her as an elder person. I respect her as my Gobella, but she knows I'm where I am because of my hard work. Uh, what does she say to people who do not believe she has a true calling? What do I say to people who I believe they don't have a true calling? To people who say you don't have a calling? They must come to my domain and see. Mm. And um, they will see if I don't have a true calling. But where does that come from? Like where does I think just... it comes from my lifestyle. Uh, they expect me to to just wear I'm here and just concentrate and talk about in Dumba. And they forget that I'm only 30 years old and there's Dumi living inside me. And I want to... Oh, so young. I wanna, exactly. I started, yeah. I started a lot of things late. Like alcohol, mm. you know, I started very late. Um, exploring, I haven't explored. I'm going out, Traveling. I go out once a year, twice a year. So oh. now I'm living my best life, you know, and I'm happy about it. Okay, and what about the rumors that you give initiates drugs and they start hallucinating and... I get that. There's mm. nothing like that. Mm. My initiates are very happy. Um, they make mistakes. Um, I believe I also make mistakes. But I, it hasn't gotten to that of drugs or anything like that. I, If they want to drink alcohol, there's a time where I, I will pray for them. I take them out to spur. I take them out. I book a hotel for them. Um, I've never, ever given them drugs. Who I bo? Yeah. I've never taken drugs, drugs myself. Yeah. If if they feel like my initiates are not doing good, they must go to their Ndumbas as well. They'll get the answers. Okay. And then can we close this chapter? Can we just set the record straight once and for all? Mm -hmm. Um. With you and Dr. Maweni, ne? Oh, okay. And please don't give me the whole, I don't want to talk about her, blah, blah, blah. This is about me, bullshit. Yeah. Not that PR answer. Yeah, yeah, PR. <laughs> so this is what you said on your podcast about her, right? What did I say? Yes, let's hear this. Oh, my God. It's loading there. Okay, cool. Uh, now, I have a son. He's turning one next month. Romeo, my son has been in hospital from when he was born Ish, up until this story. day he only came back home for a week and he went back to hospital again my son was born without a esophagus mm. esophagus is that is thing that in the thing throat yes as if he, he was born know. seven months but he doesn't yeah. have any disability he's okay mm. now they're still trying to find a way to make him eat he he doesn't eat you as umaweni has the Jeez. nerve 
to go on social media and tell people ukuthi ngithwale ngengane yami ungijoyela masimba yazi you know because angithwala ngalo mntwana lona and uma ngikhuluma ngokuthwala kami ngihlala ngikhuluma ukuthi ngithwele ngedlozi lami dale ngile inkamba inkamba ungijoyele kami and umthinta emseleni and i'm not gonna let her go for that whatever that she's been saying about First of all, uh, you're drinking the wrong beer there. I can see it. Not Castle. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, what do you want to know about? What's this? going on? Like I haven't been following to be honest. I'm, I'm not on social media. So I don't even know. Do you know what's going on between her and Dr. Mawin? I don't know, but well, she just said now because yeah. remember she said she's got a, a sick child. Yeah, and she, Dr. Maweni, accused her of twala on dawn. But were they friends before? Like, I have no I, idea. Nobody told me. No idea. Okay, yeah, we were. Okay, oh. on my side, uh, we we were. We never worked together, but we were close. You know, um, she doesn't know where I stay. She's never been to my place though, but I've been to her place, mm. um, and. Oh, a lot happened. We didn't share so much. There's nothing deep that we shared yeah. in the friendship, you yeah. know. It only lasted a few months. Um, but when she, when this whole thing started, a friend of hers told me what she said about me. I didn't take it serious. And the other friend came. I didn't take it serious. Mm. Up to a, up to a, an extent that I... This just, is not online. This is just like when you guys are chilling. She yeah. She says stuff like this. Yes, and I was not around, ah, okay. you know. And but anyway, do you think I should talk about Dr. Maweni? I'm not a doctor, Ms. Ngoma. Can she be there with, with Dr. Matthew because they're all doctors? <laughs> Same WhatsApp group. Yeah, they're all doctors. No, I'm just I'm just a Sangoma. What did you think about that Matthew guy? <laughs> <laughs> Ahmed, I, that Matthew, Matthew needs help, by eh? Yeah, Matthew need, oh, needs help. Yeah. I think all these doctors that don't have, you know, their qualifications and they call them doctors, they really need help. Yeah. So I'm a Sangoma. I feel like me and Maweni had our differences and I'm cool like that. Uh, I don't want to be in the same space. So you guys don't talk at all now? No. Uh, last time you spoke to each other? Never. Um... Uh, before this whole thing starts. Before this whole thing. Before this whole thing starts. And you guys have never met. You're not in the same. Fresh, no, 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 no. I don't think we'll ever meet. Mm. I don't think. I'll... Does she still talk about you, like in interviews? I, 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 I think she did. On she was asked about me as I'm being asked about her. Yeah, yeah. yeah. On I, I think with DJ Spoo. Oh, okay. Um, and yeah, and. What do you What do you think about people that say you guys? This was all planned because you've got a reality show coming. Oh, uh, coming to that. Uh, yes, we had to shoot a reality show together. Um, when I had to shoot my season two, Mojalav asked me to come. And then I suggested he she must be there. And then when they started shooting, they said, we're going to shoot Togo Zagoko, which is two Sangomas uh, that are friends. Yeah. And um, that's when this whole thing started. And then you pulled out. I pulled out. So that show is not coming on air. No, I'm not going to be part of that show. Oh, it's coming, but you're not. No, part. I'm not. The first season, it was, and then they stopped it. Now, I think they're doing season two. Majalav came again to approach me. I said, as long as she's there, I'm not going to be part of it. But it's strange, man. Why would you just say that about your kid? You know what? Uh, I feel like she, if she was alone, she was not going to say a lot of things about mm. me. She had people around her. Mm. And you know that thing, which is a pusas chili and mm. we don't like a certain person and mm. we end up talking about of that course. person. Yeah. But if you can sit her down and ask her anything bad about me that has ever happened between us, actually there's none. Hey Amen. We had some, we had on the show, yeah. uh, but on the call, um, her friend called us and said, um, what, 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 what happened? So I forgot about that thing. I don't know. She's in hiding. She's in hiding. So this is the Ma Maweni's friend. Mm -hmm. She's in hiding. Because Dr. Maweni killed her husband. Yeah. Please call Dudu to explain the story, man. Dudu knows. Oh, I, I know that. Yes. I know. Oh, yeah. They reached out to the venting podcast as well. Yeah, they reached out to you guys. Yeah. Okay. But I thought, like, I don't want to be part of that because it will be like, I'm trying to sober touch her. Instigate. Yeah. yeah. So I don't want anything that. But is that thing true, though? Like, what's going on there? I don't know. That's what That's rumors say. Man. Yeah, husband is it. Yeah, I heard. Actually, there's a lot. But I don't know. I don't know. I don't know anything bad about her. No, you do. You said in a live, you know things that if you were to take out, would shake. 
Oh, no, those are personal things. Okay. Those are her personal things. But b- bad things, bad things about her, yeah. she hasn't done in front of me. Yeah. I've never seen her doing it. That, that other ones, I was saying mm. on my life, yeah, I met them and she who's, knows. Who's stronger between the two of you? It's not about being strong, but who's wiser? Hey! <laughs> you can be strong and have all the moody, but will it work on the wiser one? No. So I'm she's stronger. stronger. That sounds like you've just answered my question. No, I'm saying you might be strong and have the moody, but will it work on the wiser one? So you'd rather be strong or wiser? Marokari, you know, she's personal, bro, because I uh, it says here that Maweni claimed Skoteni's husband, mm-hmm. Monday, likes both men and women. It's it's none of it's none of her business. If my husband would want to fuck a gay guy, mm. I'll say go for it because I'm not gonna give my man my man an S. Mm. But if my man can go for a woman, I'll be very angry because I've got the pussy as well. Of course. Damn. But if my man could fuck a gay, mm. I'd support him. Mm. There he is. I'd say go 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 ahead, baby. I can even book a hotel. I took my man to a strip club mm. and I said buy a stripper. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Even now, I was even talking to Tebuho. I wanted to take him to that new club. They yes. Yeah, I wanted to take him there and just experience it. I even chose a strip, a stripper for her, for him. I sent him the picture. I said, hey, baby, this one will fuck you good. Hey, we need more of you. Do me. Hey. Hey, we need Do me. Do me. star, man. As long as he's open about it to me. Hey. Young Tyler, like, hey. we want to experience, we want to explore, actually. I must be honest, that's a mind fuck. It kills the fun, bro. <laughs> what? Of your woman endorsing you and cheating? <laughs> or you're fucking <laughs> around? <laughs> so, like, what are you driven by? Are you driven by doing it behind the back? Or are you driven it? Are you driven by having sex with somebody else? My woman did that, ne? Yeah. When we first met, ne? Because oh, uh, there's this other girl I wanted to fuck, right? Yeah. So we meet her the first time. And she knew. Because she was going through my phone or whatever. She's like, hey, this one wants to fuck this one. So I met them the same day. And she's like, you know what? For me and you to be happy, here are the keys to your house. Because she was staying, she, she came over for the weekend or whatever. Mm-hmm. Go pick up that girl. Fuck her. When you're done, tell me so we can be great. That's my girl. Uh, mind fuck. I was like, Hi, baby, I'm staying. <laughs> 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 Monday oh, I allowed a whole stripper to take out the G string and everything, and then the, the the pussy was right on his face in front of me. Yeah. And Monday was like, <laughs> just in front of me. My I'm girl, so happy that he's experiencing that. Yeah. So her saying my man is bisexual, actually I don't mind. Yes, yes. That's a gay. That's 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 a that's a man. I, I will not allow my husband. I'd, I I'd, I'd want to try anal sex, but mm. not now. Not now. Yeah. So he can go for that. Ah, oh, beautiful. If you bought a stripper and for your man, and that's a, a sex worker who sleeps with many men, mm-hmm. uh, what are you saying? That these ties don't exist or you don't believe in them? Because of, I've heard that, yeah. So how can you then put your man in that position we or can. yourself even in that position? We can't. Mm. I go to the river most of the time. I, he comes with me. We can plan for that. My social lasting exploring and my muscle ties. So a person or what I don't about needs to do her what to cleanse. Yeah, they they do. They do come to us. The sex workers they do come to us for cleansing. Mm. Wow. That's why Logan Bafuna all the time because now their soul becomes pure most of the time. Mm. They cleanse, so I can cleanse with my husband. I I had I had her saying that, and I, I it didn't trigger me because of course. yeah. If there was another lady involved, yo, she's intimidating. Yeah, and then brings a quarter. You can and fall then, in love. Uh, have kids. Like, exactly. This one, they'll never have kids. They'll never build a home that just you, like a dick here, yeah, there. Yeah, you know, know so mm. uh, doesn't yeah. bother me. Yeah, we're gonna play a game. It's called One Must Go. The song on my edition. Mm. Oh, I'm gonna give you two song You must tell me which one must go. Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, Litoya Makene or Mpoa Madimo? Ah. Which one must go? Latoya. Latoya? Mm-hmm. But she's like an OG. She's been. That's a thing. She's old. Zambe. Dineo Ranaka or Boiti Tulo? Boiti. Must go. Yeah. Why? Wow. She doesn't practice anymore, right? Oh, she doesn't? She said she doesn't want to practice anymore. I think I remember seeing something like that. Yeah. So you can just do that. You see? That's why I didn't know. <laughs> hey, Penduki, you can just wake up and say, I don't want this anymore. I don't know. Can you? I don't know. How does it work? If it's a calling, yes. If it's not, no. If it's a calling, you can wake up and say. No, if if, if it's a calling, no. 
But if it's not, yes. Okay. But I've heard people who say, but I mean, I'm a, I'm a close wabo. Yeah, a break, yes, not resign. Not, not resign. resign. Yeah, I a break, yeah. Also, so, 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 yeah, a break is needed, guys. Do, do, do you still want to be someone like, if you if you could choose, because you said you had a calling, you didn't choose. If yeah. you could choose, would you choose? Yeah, to? I will. I, I love healing people. I've, I'll, guys, the, the most moment I'll never forget is when my son was in hospital. I don't want to cry. It's when my son was in hospital and I couldn't do shit. The very same day when I got to my place, they bought a three-year-old kid who was very sick mm. and I healed that kid. Wow. So I'll never forget that moment because that now I was like, I can't heal my own. But? But, so it's okay. And that feeling is? It's, I can't, I can't get it out of my head till this day. So even when it's like too much and, you know, you've got all these... For the fact that you say you are where you are because of me, That's I enough. can't stop. It's enough for me. That's enough, no? Yeah. Beautiful. Uh, Romeo Malepe or Zodo Avanto? I Zodo Avanto. Zodo must go. I, I must go. Oh. Come on, she's friends yeah. with Romeo. You just saw Romeo there on screen but, but with Coco's Cotini. We aren't friends that deep, but uh, Zodo must go. Ah, but I'm fit to Zodo Avanto. <laughs> <laughs> we love we love Zoto, man. No, but Mobungo, uh, man. Yeah. 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 Sangoma side, she, she could go. Yeah. 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 Wow, man. Beautiful. Penduka, anything else you're asking? Yeah. Like, uh, Kokos Koten, I'm assuming it's a name you were given, right? Mm -hmm. Are you able to change these names? Uh, and how, how I, why were you given that one specifically? For me, Skoteni was a man, an old man from Ekaya, and he, he ran away from home to go help people because he would do weird things. According to history as a kaya, he would go and help people for free. He would go inside the river, come back with a bunch of mooty things and run to help people. Then he came back home after so many years. And now he was a pastor when he came back home. Oh, wow. Right? So now, Scotland is a name that I cannot change, but it's possible for a person to have more than one ancestors. You hmm. understand? It's possible for a person to have more than one sisters, meaning I can be Scotani, I can be John, I can be whoever, but the person who's going to lead when it comes to me helping people will forever be Scotani. Uh, you I understand? Know. So he's yeah, a nigga. Yeah. So you got male you energy. Nigga, yes. You got male energy. Yeah, no? I've got male energy. But shy on, isn't it? No, I'm, and honestly speaking, I'm very sweet, but I always speak my mind out, gotcha. you know. Me and my husband, that's what, we are different. He's an introvert, Mina. Yes. I speak. If something is wrong, I don't like it. But physically, yo, I'm not violent, but yo, I do get angry. You start raging. I do get angry. What do you think about mediums? Mediums, oh my God. Mediums, they operate. Now, that's the spiritual part I was talking about. They understand their spiritual alignment, right? Now, they do get their, answer, their answers from ancestors, but they don't use anything that is man-made. They use the spiritual with themselves straight to you. They don't need bones to tell you what's the problem. They use their spirits. About twice, you know? Uh -uh. That's a calling. I get it now. Now you get it, right? Get the it. difference. So, Abba, 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 twice. Oh, so, Way back, there were African mediums, and then, the Usang, Uba, Isang, Oma, Ba, Zenze. Ba, Zenze, Lubungo. But these were just mediums. Yeah. Oh, see. Finally. Thank you, you get me. Oh. Man, I feel scammed, bro. Yeah, but, so, it's Katima's, it's Katima's logos, Hamba, and then, Things change into deep. That's why if, I say if I could start something now, in 10 years to come, it's going to happen like that. And they'll not say who started it. Yeah, yeah. Like a religion. Yeah, it's like a religion. They yeah, won't yeah. say who started it. Oh, it's going to be something that's, you know, that's going to carry on. Yeah. And also, you know, Sangamismas or people who have a spiritual calling, they're like saying, Yo, mini just lambel feba. Yeah, I've heard, I've heard of that. Yeah, I just lambel tanda matota. Okay, I was accused so many times of dating other people, that, but I've never dated anybody. Besides my husband, I've never, ever since we met. Except that guy was too weak. Who? No! <laughs> <laughs> no, that was before. I've never, ever since I've met my husband, um, I've never cheated on him. Yeah. You know, I know there were rumors that I've once cheated on him or I'm cheating on him. With uh, Oscar Mbone? 
But it was combo. Yeah, that, okay, yeah, that was the the, the first room I yeah. heard. No, Oscar's like a brother to me, honestly. Mm, that's Oscar's what they all like say. A, He's a rock star, though. I know Oscar. No, I don't know anything bad about him. He's like a brother. You know, if I go it's through something... bad about smashing a married woman. Oscar once helped me, guys. Mm. Like, I was in a very, very bad state after getting my son, you know. And I, I questioned a lot. I was angry. I was angry at God. I was very angry. That how could you do that? Because my son can't eat, guys. My son doesn't have this troop that Esophagus. takes the food. Exactly. I was yeah. so angry. Why, why is this happening to me? And I remember that I was at the verge of killing myself. Wow. And Oscar called me. And, I, and the very same time, I left my home, drove. Yeah. And this child was in your truck. Oscar saved my life. Whoa! He You're called the shoulder me. to cry on. He called me and he said, you will not going to do what you want to do. Remember who you are and remember your purpose. Why didn't you call your now husband? Now you need to stop yeah. the car. This is our child. Oh, he's going through the same thing. He's going through the same thing. I but at you. that particular time, I felt like he's not understanding. Mm. When you face this as, as, as a couple, couple you fight yeah, amongst yeah, yeah, yourselves yeah. because you are looking for a solution. So yeah. I used to fight a lot with my husband yeah. at that time. Yeah. He said... You need to understand your papers. You've healed so many through your videos, including myself. Mm. Wow. Man. So, so you're going to, how many people are you going to make them not have faith anymore? Because you're the one that brings our faith. He helped me. So you were just yeah. around, you were driving looking for a truck. I was, and it was not appearing. <laughs> wow. And I was so angry, you know. <laughs> yeah. I was driving from Harrisburg <laughs> to, what's that place? Lady Smith. Yeah. And I don't even know where, where Lady Smith is. I was just driving around. I'm looking for a Looking for a truck. <laughs> Imagine if I found one. Meg, you love him. <laughs> so I wanted, I wanted that. So Jeez. he's like a brother to me. But when that rumor started, we would like each other's pictures. You know, we would comment on each other's pictures. But when that rumor started, we both felt like, oh, you know what, let's just... We 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 had that distance, you know. We didn't have that friendship anymore. But know? if you did get with him, you couldn't. You can't come on a podcast and say you did. I mean, would you I do would. that? You would. I would. Wow. I would. Jada Pickett, is that you? <laughs> yeah, I, I think I am. <laughs> I would, but nothing happened. And then, yeah, he he never even hinted on me mm. or made moves or ah, so when I'm so good. What do you think happened with AK, man? According to you, as uh, mm, nah, yo, ah, Maggie, that's a sensitive issue for me to talk about. Why you didn't know him? I didn't, but he's out there. He's a celebrity, so you can comment on it. I my personal choices, eh? mm. and I don't want to talk about AKA. Hey, because it's, it's a sensitive issue that other people will take serious because he's mm. Angwam, so they'll think I'm foreseeing something. Mm. You know? So even if I had a personal opinion, opinion I can't means. say it because they'll be like, Isango Masite. Tabo Besta, when you see that, what do you think? I, I like him. You like I him? Like him. You like him? <laughs> Would you I smuggle like a dead smart. body in prison for him? <laughs> or like a body? I smart he is. Yeah, Yo, why, that guy. Yeah, yeah, actually, yeah, really smart. Uh, yeah I'm smart. smart. Yo, when I look at him, I look at who's that guy, Conje? Al Chapo. El Chapo, yes. yes. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. You know, that's what I... I pictured. I liked him. Shame out, our best, our best I like him. I like him. He's, he's a, yeah, he's a, he's, he, yeah, he's a bad guy, but I like him. The uh, the country politics, the president. What are you, what are your thoughts on that? Ah, uh, yeah. But when it comes to politics, I think all of them they're just doing things to for their gain. They don't care about the country. You know, I personally, I've, I don't do politics. I don't care about them because it's all news. And they don't deliver. Wouldn't it be dope to have a Sangoma as a president? They would see everything. I man. Imagine. No. They'd they rig the votes then if they see disaster <laughs> coming. <laughs> So shit. No, it that wouldn't work. it wouldn't be nice. Aye. Yeah. 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 They, they will use it to their advantage if, right. even if it's not the truth. Yeah. Do you think they seek uh, uh Sangomas? Yeah, they do. Whoa. Do you want me to show you the politicians that I have? Show us. Put me my phone, babe. <laughs> but I'm gonna uh, should I hide the names? Yeah, you can hide the names. Yeah, you can hide the names. Uh so will describe them is very good without oh. saying the name. Oh yeah, but how do I know who to type? Let me open the phone for you because I think it's lost. So what, what? Oh fuck! I want to ask you what they come and say to you. What? They want political power. They want political power. 
Or like, oh, and then like you know, like when, when, when you incorporate and you wanna, um, what's the word? When you upgrade your job, what is it? When you upgrade promotion, promotion, yes. Max, when you upgrade yes. your job, that's what they want. <laughs> promotion. <laughs> Oh, now I got that voice note. Imagine. Yeah, I played. Voice. Oh yeah, I'm talking Yeah, it's a the crying one. one. Just put it on My this. My phone has a. Let me play it for you. So it's the this one, eh? Yeah. My phone is too low. The first, the second one. Oh, second one. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, he you said it. it, yeah. I said it, but said still, it. the child was like, I don't want to go. Now I saw her, she's tossing somewhere. Mm. She's she's now a... So the politicians, they just want promotion and money, that's it. Yeah, they want promotion, they want money, they want their parties to be the one that's going to be elected, blah, 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 wow. blah, blah. And you do that? Yeah. What about songs? Like, if I want my song to be a smash hit... Yeah, we can, use, we, we can use motive for that. We can make it a hit. Yeah, you can. How? Let's see if my song will be a hit first. <laughs> if my song will be a hit, ah, uh, then you must know it works. If not, ah, uh, there's no need. Ah, right? you're right, because the niggas laced, dog. Hey, it's a beautiful song, man. I admit it, guys. Hey, hey. Which one? Yeah, I'll yeah. defend him, nigga. <laughs> it's just a beautiful song, sonically beautiful. Yeah, see, so oh, let's go pussy. Oh yeah, it's very, uh, I'm just. A... <laughs> <laughs> no, that's a nice song. Yeah. Uh, no, 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 it's not. I was there when they made it, so it's. <laughs> you were there when they made it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's the reason it's hot. <laughs> it's his presence. <laughs> Don't wait. Whoa. Let me see. Let me see. Ah. The Joker we once had. Ah, which one? The Joker. Oh, I don't know that one. <laughs> I don't know which Joker is it. Oh my God. Hey, I know you must, you must ask his money back. He must get his money back. What? <laughs> <laughs> Let's not make sure. <laughs> That's not working. You know what? He must keep it. He must keep it. He's giving Zimbabwe. He must. He must. <laughs> That one is a money heist, my man. Oh, it's a heist, that one. He must keep on coming back. Ah. <laughs> Ay, that one is good when he's under my wing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Gogos Koteni, uh, we always ask our guests this, man. What do you want to be remembered as as Gogos Koteni and as Tumi, the person? Because it's two different people. Gogos Koteni. Gogos Koteni is very friendly and Utanda Bantu. So Skoteni I want to be remembered as Tumi. Tumi is very reserved. You know, so no. What what are you battling with as to me? Like what are you struggling with now? I don't think I've I've been to me. Scotini took over for the longest time of my life. So that's why now when I start doing other things, I'm being bashed for that. Oh yes. I've never lived my life as to me. And I think there are things that I'm going to start surprising my husband with and she he, he's gonna be like, But that's not who you are. Mm. But was I myself from the beginning? I was cutting all this time. Oh, so DJ, that's to me, just fulfilling. To me is a to me is a fun person. To me wants to explore. To me wants to have fun. Mm. To me wants to move around, mm. you know? Mm. Yeah. And Scotten is more of and Omuntu who likes to pray, Omuntu who likes to help people and all that. So mm. these are two different people. Oh no, man, shout out to you, man. But and the if... DJ thing, I'm having fun and I'm now taking it as a career and I'm enjoying it. Yeah. yeah. Shout out to you, man. If there's one person from the podcast uh, network who doesn't like his Dudu, she's our producer. Aww. And you've been clapping us with the guests. So we call Dudu. We're like, Dudu, how come we get this guest? Gogo Scotty has got the guest. Bruh. Bruh. All right. Dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Yo, there they are on Gogo Scotty. Don't bother anymore. Shout out this man. It's good to you. <laughs> thank you. You know what? I want to thank you for being so... Like you inspire us, it's about my small podcast, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I just want to thank you for that. And if it was not because of you, I don't think my husband was gonna um, encourage me to start my own mm. because mm. 
he loves you mm. so and this podcast thing I think he saw it because he remembers even when you invited Saul he told me that this year he invited Saul and he commented that you must make Saul your partner oh there's a lot you know when he speaks about Meg G you must listen yeah yeah so yeah thank you very much nah shout out to you man thank but you. you you write in your own wave I mean your success is incredible to watch I mean really? like dude what you are doing is insane and uh, when we were speaking outside before we started recording yeah uh, she told me she wanted to start the podcast, uh, stop the podcast. Yeah. I was like, there's no way, dude, you could stop on that trajectory. Yeah, it's insane, bro. You, I you can't. Was, I wanted to stop. I was sleep. I every time I had to have sleeping tablets. It was not easy, you know. You call people, they blue tick you. They say they're gonna come. They don't come. They cancel on that day. It was not easy when I started. I felt like, guy, this is not for me. Mm. But yeah. No, but it's important because it's about sharing knowledge. That's what this space is about, you know. Mm -hmm. For the longest time, we've been dictated by mainstream media, which is controlled by, you know, the powers that be. But finally, with a platform like this, we can just talk as, you know, yeah, human true. beings and be... And, 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 and not be cancelled. Exactly. And share <laughs> <laughs> knowledge, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like half of the stuff you said today, I didn't even know. And I'm shook. And I'm sure a lot, lot of people that are watching are going to feel the same way, you know. Mm -hmm. So that's why a space like podcasting is, is, is needed. Yeah, and true. we need more. We need so more. Can yeah. become a solid industry. Yeah. You know, I think we're about two, three years behind USA, ne? Yeah. So, uh, I mean, really? Yeah, because that's a business, bro. Yeah, it's, it's an like, industry. Like, it's an industry, mm. you know? So the more scotenies we have, the more penials, the more smooths, the more nkulu, the more the merrier, man. On culture, everybody, yeah. man. We must just, everybody must have a podcast, essentially. Okay, so yeah. it can become an industry. 100%. Okay. That's Makes when sense. That's when advertisers will take us more seriously. Please tell my husband to start his own. Yeah, I was talking to him. He said he wants a niche. Oh. So he doesn't want to start one that's a replica of something that's out there. So okay. he's looking for something that's niche, Different. which is important. Yeah. Because if you find something that you're passionate about, then people can see it. It, it translates this? on camera. What am I drinking? Striped horse. Hmm. Yeah, best be in time. Diet, diet, thank you so much, man. Shout out to you. Thank you for having me. We are here. Podcast and chill. Boom. Cheers. Welcome to Black Excellence. Do not fear, for if you do, just sip on some grandeur. And if you still do, ask ourselves, what would Mapapunzi do? Parama chilla, it lesha le figi. Bungo yi, even when they ask you, how sabi in, do not fear. For if you do, just say, Anistivi. This is the medicine of censorship. This is the pill. Which one is that one? Podcast and chill.